Hey y'all, it's Anime Caveman, and today I am going to be reviewing episode 1 of Actors Songs Connection. And I gotta say, this episode, it really didn't do it for me because, for one, it took quite a while to get into anything interesting. And let me explain why. This anime literally spent a good amount of time introducing this character called Hinata, where some of the moments involving him were kind of cutesy and all that. And I had a few chuckles, but the thing is, it felt like it didn't lead to anywhere for like a good four to five minutes. And then afterwards, you have this sequence where this professor and the student are talking about some kind of research. And again, it wasn't really that interesting. And then there was a sequence between Mike and this dude called Kai, which was relatively interesting. But there was really nothing to make it pop out. And that's really the only redeeming things for anything in this episode revolving Saku. Because whenever it involves Saku, I do like how it makes you feel sympathetic towards him. Because it's, his sister is sick. And it showed flashbacks of when his sister used to give Saku advice to, towards what he should do when he's injured and all of that. And that was hella cute and adorable. And that right there makes you feel for him because not only do you feel for Saku because he seems relatively interested and you feel for his sister too because you saw how sweet she was. So this episode does get some things narratively right, but it's just that everything else that doesn't involve Saku, Naozomi, or even involve, or even Sosuke is kind of dull. Like, that's, there's no ends and buts about it. And then, aside from that, there was this sequence in this episode where you have Saku sing, pour his emotions out, talking about hope. And I did actually love that song. I thought it was really beautiful and sweet and heartfelt. But here's the kicker though. In that specific singing sequence, it was just like, this is good. But it kind of got happier because moments you'd see him sing, but then you'd see CG people walking. You would see CG cars. And then in other moments you'd get like beautiful animation of like people running towards the park or birds flying that look really beautiful. So even in the grand scene of a main character singing that looked good, they still fucked it up by showing pretty ugly visuals mixed in. So that's why I felt from a story standpoint, while it has some potential, it kind of effed itself somewhat due to shoddy script in visual direction, but because there was some potential, here. at least I feel there was some potential here. That's why I feel from a story standpoint and do two grand. And aside from characters, aside from Saku and Sosuke, there wasn't really much dynamic characters. With Kai, he seems to be like the ditzy guy who doesn't really think, seem to think, think much of things because Kai, he, he does something. Like every single time he calls this dude Mike, he doesn't pay attention. So he seems to be one of those clumsy guys, personality wise. Then you got Mike, seems to be like the hard ass type of guy. Not really much to say in characterization. Then you get these other dudes that were just there. And really the only one with any semblance of a defining personality is Saku because you see him, he seems to be like a sweet individual. He really cares about his sister, so you see angles of selflessness. And then with Sosuke, you see him as a connoisseur of talent because he noticed that. No one in Hinata's club can sing his song properly, but he was able to analyze that our main character, Saku, can. So you get details like that. But the thing is, though, the character interactions were enough to elevate mostly dull sequences. And that's why I felt the story and character standpoints, it was a mixed bag. Pretty much anything involving Sosuke and Saku was good to decent, but it was hampered by everything else. And then on top of that, the animation and art, it was a mixed bag. Literally, it's one of the woofy animes where a scene could look extremely beautiful. Then the next you would have CG crowds. Then the next after that, it would look beautiful. Then again, it would have CG people walking. I'm just like, <laughs> how can you go from beautiful to extremely elegant to beautiful back to back to back to back? It's kind of like a whiplash effect, you know? It only, for somehow, it only amplifies the dull looking bits of animation by contrasting it with the beautiful moments. It's just like drawing to the mind from a visual standpoint. So that's why I thought visually, it was literally, this is the definition of a mixed bag. 
Artwork, I did like when it wasn't CG. I did like the character designs. I'll give it that. I thought the OP was okay, but the visuals were kind of dull. But the ED had some nice visuals, and I did like the song. And if I had to rate this, I'd say I'm going to rate it a 4.5 out of 10. Honestly, I've seen better introductory episodes from other musical series. And honestly, I can only recommend this to anyone that wants to see an anime with the male idols. It's not trash, though. It's just that it's not going to appeal to me because... I have seen animes with boy bands before, like Kids on the Slope and Given. I've been thoroughly enjoyed those series, but if the narrative isn't strong, if there isn't there enough, if there isn't like comedy or grand narrative, then I'm not gonna latch on to it, and it doesn't seem like it's gonna have it here. And and yeah, that's pretty much my thoughts. Watch it if you want to see cute sea boys playing music. If any of we all want more than that. You might want to watch something else, you know? I'm just, um, I'm being perfectly honest. If anything, I could guide you to the direction of Given. Now, that's a great series. And it's going to get more material because season one finished last season. And it's going to get a, um, it's going to get a movie. So, I definitely recommend that instead of this. But anyways, y'all, these are just my thoughts. Come and I get thoughts on the episode in the comment section below or how you feel about my review. Rate the video, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later if you come back for more. All right, y'all. Have a great and safe day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.